Hey, CISD Tigers. How hey are you? Hello. We are back this week with the Week 5 Challenge. This is Carrie. This is Heather. All right, and here we go. We're going to start off with Super Mario Maker this week. We chose this game as kind of the basis for our challenge because in this game, you have an opportunity to collaborate. You can build levels and worlds, and you can receive feedback from other players that tell you what you should add to your levels to make them more interesting and more dynamic. So we thought this would be an excellent game to highlight, and we want to bring the same exciting kind of hands-on vibe to our challenge this week. So let's talk a little bit about our challenge. This one ties in with T-Test Dimension 2.3, Communication. And the specific challenge says, how do you provide opportunities for students to communicate effectively with the teacher and their peers? So this one's very student-centered. This is a very student-centered yes, challenge. It's not tools exactly that the teachers would use, but students as well. Right. So we are going to highlight some strategies from the Lead Forward Instructional Strategies resource. You received this in a previous email from Heather, and I believe it's going to be attached again. Yes, I will attach it again for your viewing pleasure. All right. So even if you're not participating in the Pride Challenges, go ahead and download this uh, resource and save it to your computer. There are several just really fantastic activities to kind of liven up instruction. So some of the strategies we're going to concentrate this week, uh, concentrate on this week. See, now it's my problem. It's not your problem. <laughs> are I've got this, inner outer circles, think pair square share, play it say it, quiz quiz trade, talking chips or babbling beans card game, or stand up hand up pair up. But we are going to focus on two specific ones: inner outer circles, and quiz quiz trade. So here is a tweet from a uh, high school, and this one is demonstrating the inner outer circle. And really what's happening here is that each student has a question that they're going to be asking your partner, and they're standing in two circles. They're standing in a smaller inside circle and a larger outside circle. And so as the partners discuss the questions that they have, the students that are on the inside circle will keep rotating around to a new partner every time. Oh, very collaborative. So it's going to get students up and talking purposefully, which ties in perfectly with the fundamental five. Exactly. The small group purposeful talk. Yes. So this is, again, a great way um, to scaffold for your English language learners, um, to scaffold for the different um, ability levels that are going on in the classroom, and it just gets kids up and moving instead of just doing a static activity. And speaking purposefully. Speaking purposefully. Yes. And here's a close-up. These are just kind of some of the questions that the kids had. A great way to get these questions is just think about taking a older worksheet that maybe you've done okay. a few days previous, cut that worksheet up, give everybody a question. Of course, you could get questions from different Google Classroom assignments, mm -hmm. uh, maybe other online materials, textbook questions. I mean, there's a Students variety of things. Students could create their own. Students absolutely yes. could create their own. Take more ownership. Awesome. Um, even though inner outer circle is a K-12 strategy and quiz quiz trade that we're looking at now is a K-12 strategy, I think inner outer circle might be a little bit better in your upper grades okay. and quiz quiz trade might work a little bit easier in the lower grades. So here, students again have those questions that they could have gotten from any type of resource or created on their own. And they partner up with someone and they're going to ask their partner a question, then they're going to be asked a question. But the trick to this activity is when the students are finished, they're going to actually trade cards with their partner and then they're going to break apart and go partner with someone else. Oh, very good. So, it, you know, students might answer the same question more than once, but mm -hmm. practice makes perfect. Exactly. But they're going to keep getting up and moving about the room. Teachers are free to move about the room and monitor the conversations, making sure everybody's staying on target. And it gives our students a wonderful opportunity to practice um, asking questions in complete sentences and go. responding in complete sentences. Yes. And love notice it. that fabulous objective that's hanging out in the back. Oh, there. I will. We will love it. Okay, tell us about the flair. All right, so we've had four, or basically four opportunities to earn flair this week. Um, we've had self check. We've had avoiding pitfalls. We've had thinking tools, and you just finished the real world challenge. Mm -hmm. So this week you are going for flair number five, which is collaboration. Um, there's just a couple of things here. First off. 
if you have all five pieces of flair, yeah. the iCat team is going to buy your lunch. Lunch? Oh my gosh, how awesome is that? For five small little challenges, you are going to get lunch at a nice place too. So that will be awesome. really cool. Awesome. And you're going to deliver it to me? I'm going to deliver it to you. We're going to actually Greatness. take a week off of the challenges okay. this next week so that we can spend a day going to each campus and making these food deliveries. So Love it. even get a little bit of a break in the challenges yum, there. Yum, yum. But I have had some teachers come up and message me that they have not received their flair. Oh no. Well, there's been a couple of problems. <laughs> There's been um, autocorrect issues oh. with their phone, changing oh. the one to an I. Dreaded autocorrect. I know, the dreaded autocorrect. It strikes again. Um, there have been people that have put the at symbol instead of the hashtag symbol. Oh, it's not a person. It's or information. Yep. they have attached it straight to their treat, that tweet. They haven't placed a space between the tweet and oh, the hashtag. Oh, okay. Yep. So here's a kind good of rule of thumb. If the I am Sturchy Twitter account does not favorite your tweet, that means I did not see your tweet. Oh. So as the week is progressing, if I have not favorited your tweet, make sure to go back and look at your tweet, maybe tweet it again, check and see if the hashtag is correct, some of those things, and maybe we can be a little bit smoother with getting our flair out to the teachers. So I want to make sure that everybody that participates oh, gets yeah. the recognition. Oh, yeah, because you are working for that lunch, and that lunch is awesome. Awesome and more prize. prizes to come oh, later to in come. the challenge. Bigger prizes to well, come later. Well, just know that Commerce ISD Twitter might like or retweet your posts, but that is not the official tracking account of this challenge. So that is Sturchy. She is the one tracking all this. So make sure that she has liked your mm -hmm. tweet. And reach out to me via email, you know, if there's a, a problem or you have a question. Okay. Awesome. Okay, guys. It is time to <gasps> level up. And what is our prize for the Level Up Challenge? Look at that. It is a $100 Amazon gift card. So if you complete our Level Up Challenge for this week, and don't forget to put that in your tweet, the words Level Up, either as a hashtag or just the words, you will be entered into the drawing to win the $100 Amazon gift card at the end of week 10. Woo okay, so let's see what our Level Up Challenge is. And of course, it involves technology. technology. How do you use technology to improve the way students collaborate? Oh my gosh, there are so many tools you can use. We're going to give you two examples, but you can always use other new ones, and I encourage that. Or get with a Campus I Coach. They are a wealth of knowledge and could also introduce you to a couple of different collaborative Absolutely. tools. But the first one I want to talk to you about is my beloved Google. Google is the king or queen of collaborative tools, and you can use docs, slides, drawing sheets, any of these different tools within your classroom. Um, you have Google accounts, as you know, in your commerceisd.org email address, but the students also have access to Google with their cisdtigers.org Google email address. So you can um, share documents, give feedback, collaborate, lots of different ways that you can use the Google tools for this challenge. Absolutely. And don't forget, screenshots like this they would probably work for the challenge, you know, but we want to see students using the tools. We love pictures of the kids and working, and we want to see the pictures of the Chromebooks and the kids. So make sure that you are, are giving us a little bit more in your sharing. All about student creation. Yes, exactly. Okay, our other tool we want to highlight is Padlet. If you um, took part in the summer book study administrators, you use Padlet. So your administrator is a great resource Absolutely. for this tool. They, they used show it. You. Yes. But in essence, what it is, it's just a big pin board and you give the students the link to, to your Padlet board and they can insert links, they can insert text, images, any kind of information, and then they can comment on each other's work. So it's a great online collaborative mm -hmm. space. It's really easy to use. Lots yes. of different grade levels could make use of this. And it's available on both web and iOS. So they are available at the, uh, on the iPads at CES as well. So, those are two tools that you could use, but now we have to look at our leaderboard. 
record. Okay, we are in the middle of week four at the time of this recording, so we can't report on level four yet, but we can report on levels one, two, and three, and look what we have here, Carrie. CES has taken the challenge two weeks. Yes, they, they have. won the first challenge and the third. Mm-hmm. High school won the second challenge, so we are keeping track. We are doing it on a percentage. Yes, yes. it's not how many teachers, it's the percentage of teachers participating. For the campus. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, week four is open. I mean, week four is open. We've had a lot easy. of tweets. It's easy. This is an easy Sharing challenge. a resource. Yeah. Everybody has a, has a resource to share. So, when I send this out on Friday, this video, you still have time before six o'clock on Saturday evening to get that get tweet that week out. Four tweet so, in. make sure that your campus is represented on this leaderboard. So, you know what that means? It's game, game on. on.